Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzer and of course, welcome to another episode of the LEGO Batman 100% walkthrough or the mini kit and of course Red Power Brick Guide. On the last episode we began the Jokers... Jokers? What? No, Blitzwinger, come on, get your stuff together. The Joker's return, and of course today we shall uh, carry on. So without further ado, here we go. Uh, gonna play as Nightwing this time around, as uh, our choice for our Robin. And uh, away we go. Little fun at the big top is the name of the level that we're gonna be facing off against today. And of course it features uh, the likes of Joker and Harley Quinn as the main bad guys in this particular level. But we don't have to worry about that because we don't even need to fight them in order to get all the minikits and... Uh, other stuff. Dr. Harleen Quinzel was the Joker's psychiatric, sorry, psychiatrist, not psychiatric, <laughs> psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum until she fell in love with him and reinvented herself as the madcap villain Harley Quinn. She's an accomplished acrobat who will do anything to demonstrate her adoration or ador adoration? Is that right? Hmm, sounds kind of weird. Adoration of the Clown Prince of Crime. I really love that name, the Clown Prince of Crime. Such a cool name. All right, so right off the bat, uh, we gotta get to this area, and we are gonna need a character that can double jump, such as Poison Ivy. Beat these guys up a little bit, and you might see the mini kit up uh, right up here. Actually, uh, you cannot get there. I I've tried maybe once or twice to like jump onto the light post and then try to jump off of it. It's impossible. You have to do it by the proper way, uh, which is actually via using this little box here so you need a character that can obviously carry it first that would be a good idea such as for example killer croc right here look at him one-handed oh no never mind two-handed look like he was one-handed first didn't it okay and once you got in there just use a double jump assemble this little rope and then away you go here we go booyah alrighty so we got ourselves our mini kit there which is pretty cool now it's uh, the first mini kit that you can get in the level, uh, the reason why it said 3 is because, of course, uh, when we were playing it in the regular mode, we already unlocked some of the mini kits, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to need to bash my way through this glass here. And once you've done that, you are... Well, come on. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Oh my god, these guys are just unbelievable. No stopping them now. Alright, so once you've smashed all three, uh, sorry, all, yeah, all three of the glasses, you just, uh, want to target these guys. Actually, I think it might be easier to do so from the inside. There we go. You could just punch them. There we go. And once you've done that, a minicut shall appear up above. Okay, so, I'm just gonna get up here, need a double jumper. Such as Ivy. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to come over here. I don't know if... Sorry. I don't know if this is going to work necessarily. Whoops. A daisy. That's okay. I guess it worked. Uh, you need a character that can swim, such as um, either... Sorry. Goodness gracious. Either um, Robin with uh, his suit or obviously Killer Croc. So... You got a couple of options, definitely. Once you've done that, you drive on down. It looks like the only middle, uh, only the middle one blows up for water, so you have to go through that way. Oh god. Okay. Well, I'll just let those guys do their thing then, since they want to be jerks about it. Come on, beat them down. There we go. Send them packing. Peanut packing. Uh oh. Here we go again. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. All right. There's a lot of clowns to deal with. Again, I still don't know how Joker can afford all this uh, support all the time. Alrighty, so time for the next challenge here. You just uh, open it up, of course, because this is a, in a kind of carnival type area, so there's a lot of minigame type uh, challenges. So there we go, got ourselves another mini kit there, very cool. Now it is time to glide. There we go, and of course, if you have a partner who needs to cross, you could use that. There you go. Purple stud for the win, awesome. Just pull that, and make your way inside here, where you're gonna be assaulted by some dudes, but we will take them out, for we are Batgirl, and we can kick butt. Okay, so now I need Robin, or in our case, Nightwing, actually. 
Okay, so here with this stuff, I would say use the shadow to be your guide and to be your hint. Uh, and every time you drop out one of these uh, sandy bears, goodness gracious, uh, you gotta break it. And once you break three, that's when you're gonna be rewarded with a red power brick. So there we go, there's our second one. And finally, one more to go. I guess let's grab another pink one, shall we? So we keep it kind of going the same pattern. And then we would be left with just one pink, one blue. I mean, sorry. Yeah, one pink, one blue. Goodness gracious. I guess one for girls, one for boys. Uh, makes sense. Never mind. I forgot. We need a third one, don't we? There we go. Come on, beat him up. There we go. Perfect. So once you've done that, you're going to go back there, grab yourself a red power brick, and toss it on down to now allow yourself to grab it. Very cool. I love this little mini game. This one is very cool. Oh, sorry. I forgot to deactivate. There we go. Alrighty. So, uh, by the way, these uh, things you could blow up, but they're primarily just for studs. So, um, definitely could go ahead and do that, but it's really not going to accomplish anything. Except for giving you a lot of more studs, which is always nice. Uh, but I would definitely come back here uh, once I have some uh, multipliers, because, hey, free studs and they're pretty valuable. So, definitely take advantage of that kind of stuff. Alrighty, so time to smash and bash. It looks like first there's a little bit of smashing and bashing that we got to do on these bad guys. So that's what we shall do. There we go. And then it's time for a little bit of assembly. Assembly work. Here we go. Very nice. Alright, come on. Blow those up. And to the next area we go. So, right off the bat. I am... Never mind, that's not going to work. I was going to try to shoot the window up there with uh, Penguin, but that was not going to be working. So, once you've done that, you need a character that can double jump. So, uh, there we go. Ivy will work just fine. And that blue stud right there would turn into... Um, sorry, would be a mini kit typically for you. So, for us, it was obviously already not a mini kit because I've gotten it previously. So, that's why uh, it was the way it was. Okay, so, now I'm going to jump on this trash can. Get up here. To save ourselves some time so that we don't have to do the whole metal walk. Oh, uh, God. These guys are not going to lay off, so we really do need to beat them up a little. Oh, yeah. Look at Nightwing's cool combo. And now he's going to go away. Hop up here and get away from those jerks. Now we are going to need the assistance of the Prince Crime. Uh, clown Crime himself. I like to jump into these teapots. We just make the guys chase me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, once the whole thing uh, goes right, uh, around, that's when you're going to be able to grab the damn minikit. Well, there's an amazing amount of enemies to first clear out. There we go. Alright, now right here is your citizen and pearl, so definitely beat these guys up real quick. Get rid of them all, and that will uh, give you another one of your citizens and pearl completed. So that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's see. Now we need to collect some bits and pieces. So... Gonna switch to Nightwing with his little vacuum machine. I also am gonna need um, to smash some of this glass. Um, I think it might have been the other one that had some pieces. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I was like, I knew one of them had some bits and pieces to collect. There we go. Nicely done. Looks like we got ourselves 10 pieces. Pretty good, pretty good. Not too shabby. And let's head up here now, over to here, gonna smash all this glass, once you do so, these guys are gonna rush out, and inside here is actually another one of the mini kits uh, that I've already grabbed, so one of these uh, here would be a mini kit, uh, so I think it's actually once you open the door right away you would get a mini kit, so just keep that in mind that you would have another additional mini kit now, which I think actually gets you caught up to what we currently have, which I think is six, right, or maybe seven, six I think. Okay, so let's see what we're at. What kind of account are we at? We're at 30. Okay, so we have plenty um, of bits and pieces done. We don't need any more. So take these guys out real quick. And once you've done so, might as well punch this thing real quick. Boom! Shakalaka. And then you just load up your bits and pieces right over to here. Come on. Very nice. Now allowing us access to this ladder. Upon which we will now go up. Up, up, and away. Some extra blue studs there, which is cool. Now you're gonna go up through here, and this is another um, mini kit right here. That little blue stud right there is a mini kit as well. 
So that should uh, bring you to a total of seven. At this point, you should have, I think, seven. So uh, after with this, we uh, carry on. We walk through here. There we goes. Oh my, okay. So gotta take out all these goons. Goodness gracious, there is a ton of them. There are a ton of them, I should say. All right, now right here, we gotta do a little bit of parking jobs. Uh, just park the boats uh, based on their colors into their little boat houses. So we had blue goes in blue, green, of course, then goes into green. Red goes into guess what color? Yellow, no, red, how could you get it wrong? Okay, and finally, to round out the list, we put this tiny little cool boat into the yellow uh, uh, part there. And once you've done that, you need a character that can actually dive into the green guck, because otherwise you're just gonna die, obviously. So don't do it with any other characters that can't uh, take that kind of thing on. And then actually, well, it would have been probably actually more cool to switch into Killer Croc right away, because you're gonna need Killer Croc's assistance or a strong character's assistance. So Killer Croc would have been perfect. Mr. Freeze would have been perfect as well. So uh, just assemble this thing real quick. But do not uh, continue yet. Oh my. I just punched $5,000 out of us. What the heck? How rude, sir. I didn't even do anything to you yet. Okay, then we gotta do uh, a little bit of heavy duty work over here. Have some uh, bumper car matches. Here we go. Boom, shagalaka. So you just uh, hit these guys in their bumper cars. Boom. Who loves bumper cars? Not me. I used to love them. Then when I was a kid, and once I got hit really hard in the chest, and I remember throwing up for like hours and hours and hours because I don't even know what happened to me, but it was bad. And then uh, I never ride them ever again after that. So there we go. Once uh, you ride for long enough and you bash into them long enough, uh, you will unlock your ninth and final. Um, goodness gracious, final mini kit there. Here he comes. He's not going to give up. Come on, shoot him, penguin. There you go. Okay, so now we got to open up the gate. And this is actually right before the boss fight here. So uh, you're right on the brink of the boss fight. Switch to Killer Croc, because before heading to the boss fight, you actually want to run through this little area. Uh, right in there, you have a bunch of studs, so you could blow that up if you are interested in that. Uh, in our case, we're just going to switch to Nightwing, because I usually like to do this with either Robin or someone, you know, kind of to give a tribute to the Flying Graysons and stuff. Goodness gracious, wait, careful. No. There we go. That takes uh, sometimes a couple of tries. But just, uh, you know, because they were in the circus and stuff like that, so that's why I like to do it. Uh, that way, but there you have it. We got ourselves 10 kits, a rescue the citizen pearl, and of course our red power brick. So that's pretty gosh darn cool in video. And there you have it, guys. That concludes another episode of Lego Batman 100% walkthrough. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please like the video, share the video with your family and friends, and favorite the video. Those are all terrific ways to show support for the series and to show that you guys want to see more of these videos down the line. Thanks all for watching, guys. You guys are fearfully majestic. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another episode of Lego Batman as we continue our adventure through. Lego Batman uh, and uh, through the Joker's uh, return. Sorry, is it Return or Revenge? I always forget. I think it's the Joker's return. Through the Joker's return uh, map. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks all for your support on the previous episodes. And uh, I hope this video was uh, you found this video to be informative and fun and entertaining. Alrighty, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Wait a minute! How could I dare to say I'll see you later before I didn't? I even showed you the mini kit. How rude of me. I'm sorry about that. Let's take a look at the minikit, shall we? Well, first off, we unlock Decoy as a red power brick, which is kind of cool. It's not necessarily useful, but it's pretty cool. Alrighty, got ourselves some extra studs there at 35,000. Now let's see what we've assembled out of all our hard work for collecting those minikits. Alright, it's like a tiny little arcade machine, I would assume. That's kind of what it resembles. Maybe a pinball machine, something like that. Pretty cool. Uh, a mini pinball machine in Didio. So there you have it, guys. Now I get to say uh, farewell to you all and see you tomorrow. Have a great day and have a great night and have a great afternoon and have a great whenever you're watching this. <laughs> Alrighty, bye, guys.